Many people currently are looking for the best way to farm Spirit of the Riven Engrams in Season of the Wish. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can be able to get the most amount of Spirit of the Riven Engrams in Season of the Wish. And I'm also going to be showing you guys the God Rolls for PvE for all of Season of the Wish weapons. There are a couple of things for you to get the most amount of Engrams in Season of the Wish. You can be able to get Gunsmith Engrams and also Spirit of the Riven Engrams. But first, you would need to go to your ghost shell and put wombo detector because it would detect caches or resources within 50 meters we're gonna need to do that and also put on a sniper rifle because it would help you look for loot caches and resources at a far distance as what you see here i see a resource node all the way down here because i have a sniper on but if you would have any other weapon you can only see the resources near your vicinity once you have those things on you can now be able to go to resource nodes and chests and interact with them once you interact with them, you have a 10% chance to acquire engrams for either Gunsmith or Season of the Wish engrams. So currently what I'm doing now is I'm trying to get chests and all these resource nodes. And as you can see here, I got a Gunsmith engram. So you would get Season of the Wish reputation and also Glimmer whenever you interact with the chests or the resource nodes. So as what you see here, I interacted with the resource node and I got two wish engrams. How you can be able to get two wish engrams is throughout the challenges in Season of the Wish. So if you would go to Seasonal Bonuses and you would go to this challenge right here called Wishful Generosity, whenever you complete this, you would be granted additional wish engrams, aka every time you get a wish engram, you'll get two instead of one. So be sure to complete this challenge if you want to get the most engrams as possible. And if you guys also like to get a guaranteed red border each week for each either the season of the wish weapons or season of the undying weapons there are two challenges that you would need to complete the first one is called wishful weapon focusing you would need to obtain six season of the wish or reprised undying weapons to unlock the following season of bonus which is having the ability to focus individual season of the wish weapons or undying weapons the weapons must be obtained first in order for you to focus them and the second one is wish crafting you will need to successfully clear pathways in the Riven's Lair playlist or within the coil to unlock the following seasonal bonus. And that bonus is your first wish weapon engram focused with Spirit Riven in the helm each week is guaranteed to contain a weapon with a deep sight resonance that you do not have the pattern for. So this challenge will give you a guaranteed red border each week. So let's just say you collected all of the chests and resource nodes at the beginning of the Dreaming City. All you would have to do is go to your map and reload it again. Once once you reload it again it may take a few minutes for all of the chest and resource nodes to respawn so be sure to keep that in mind you can keep doing this non-stop until you have your certain amount of spirit of the riven engrams that you would like to have so i've been farming this for not too long and i've gotten 13 spirit of the riven engrams so once you have those engrams be sure to go to the helm and decode them into weapons so now as soon as you have your wish engrams you can be able to decode them for wish weapons you would have a chance to get a red border when purchasing this wish engram right here it would cost two wish engrams and three thousand glimmer and let's see if i'll get lucky i got one more shot uh, i did not get lucky but you can get red borders from purchasing those engrams so I did get a red border for that guaranteed red border like each week. So that's why you see a red border right here. But be sure to keep doing that strategy nonstop and you'll be able to get as much wish engrams as possible so you can decode them for red border weapons. Let's just say you get sick and tired of doing that strategy in the Dreaming City. Well, you could also do it in the coil activity. Yes, it may take a bit longer, but you also have a chance to get red border weapons there as well. Because the times that I ran the coil a few times, I did get a red border or two per activity run. And now let's to what perks you need for each season of the wish weapon aka the god roll for each weapon in pve so let's start with the stasis fusion rifle called scatter signal perks that you want to go for are arrowhead break accelerated coils slice and controlled burst and the masterwork you would want to go for is handling now on to another kinetic stasis weapon it is a shotgun called a super cluster you would need to run arrowhead break assault mag reconstruction and vorpal weapon those are the perks that you would need to look for for this shotgun the masterwork you would want to go for for the shotgun is handling and now onto the energy slot this is a void bow i'm not going to pronounce its name because it sounds pretty complicated which gives you plus five stability and plus 15 handling the second one is carbon arrow shaft 
which gives you plus 10 stability. The third one is Impulse Amplifier and Explosive Head. You could also change Impulse Amplifier to Propulsor's Brace if you're doing a Void build, which gives you an overshield whenever you kill a Void debuff enemy. And for the Masterwork for this bow, I do recommend going for Reload Speed. Now onto the Heavy Weapon. This is a Void Linear Fusion Rifle, and here's what you need to run. You need to go for Arrowhead Break, Accelerated Coils, Reconstruction, and Precision Instrument. And for the Masterwork, I do recommend getting stability for this weapon. We also have another kinetic weapon, and this one's a Stasis Sniper Rifle. Here's what you need. You're going to need to put Arrowhead Break, Enhanced Battery, Overflow, and Killing Tally. And for this weapon, if you want to do a Stasis build as well for Crystals, instead of putting Killing Tally, you could put Headstone. And for the Masterwork for the Sniper Rifle, you could put Stability. Last but not least, on this Arc Pulse Rifle, which you can put it in the Energy Slot, here are the perks that you'll need for PvP for this pulse rifle you're gonna want to put arrowhead break tactical mag overflow and attrition orbs dealing sustained damage creates an orb of power and for the masterwork on this weapon you're gonna want to put stability i also did say that i'm going to tell you guys all the pve rolls for the season of the wish weapons but might as well let me just tell you what you guys need for the undying weapons there's only four so might as well let me just let you guys know this kinetic scout rifle that came out in season of the undying and for the perks for this weapon you can go for arrowhead break accurize rounds rapid hit and kinetic tremor kinetic tremor did get above this season so that's gonna be pretty good for the masterwork you're gonna want to put is range on the energy slot this is a void hand cannon you're gonna want to put arrowhead break appended mag rapid hit and golden tricorn and same thing for this hand cannon as well if you're doing a void build you can swap rapid hit to repulsor's brace for the masterwork on this hand cannon you need to go for is stability another energy weapon it is a solar pulse rifle and here's what you need to run you're gonna need to run arrowhead break high caliber rounds heel clip and incandescent a masterwork you need to put is handling last but not least for all of these weapons it is an arc energy submachine gun and the perks you would want to go for are arrowhead break tactical mag threat detector and bolt shot and for the masterworks you're going to want to put is stability if you did enjoy this video be sure to hit that like and sub button and if you'd like to see any more tips and tricks in season of the wish be sure to let me know in the comments i hope you guys have a good rest of your day evening or afternoon take care and i'll see you guys in the next video